Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Helium Hub video. In this video, we are going to talk about Helium 5G mining and what you can expect in the coming month. I know it's been a while since I have made a video, but I've been extremely busy with my real estate career, having a bachelor party for myself, and also recovering from COVID. So um, I'm really sorry for not posting this last month, uh, but now I have a clean plate, I'm fully recovered, and so I have every intention on making a quick video at least once a week. Remember everyone, I do offer a giveaway for a $25 Rockland gift card every video. All you have to do to be eligible is like, comment, and subscribe. The winner, as always, is going to be picked in the following video. Rockland is the go-to manufacturer for helium supplies. They have amazing, highly reviewed antennas, band filters, and even hotspots for sale. So go ahead and check them out. And if you do decide to purchase anything, make sure to use my link down below and my code to receive an additional 5% off. As many of you know by now, Helium 5G is coming in hot, and according to the HIT52, or Helium Improvement Proposal, we propose that each communications network built on top of the Helium network, LoRaWAN, Wi-Fi, 5G, CDN, and VPN, are referred to as Decentralized Network Protocols, or DNPs, and it has its own sub-DAO with its own token referred to as Decentralized Network Tokens, or DNTs. As you can see in the top right, Calchip, Bobcat, FreedomFi, GigaSky, BrainCells, and Moso Labs are already a part of the 5G Helium ecosystem. You can also see that FreedomFi has raised roughly 9.5 million from Samsung and Qualcomm as well, which is promising. Also, down in the bottom right, you can see the time frame in which they want to implement this change. So what's changing? Well, there are going to be new coins that you will be earning depending on if you're mining on a 5G miner or a regular IoT hotspot on the low RAWAN network. For IoT hotspots, you will be beginning to start earning the IoT token, and for your 5G hotspots, you will be beginning to start earning the mobile token. Each will have their own separate value that is dependent on how well that specific ecosystem is doing. On top of that, you can exchange your IoT and mobile tokens for HNT. In addition, at the launch of the IoT subnetwork, 2.5 of the total percent of IoT tokens, roughly 5 billion tokens, are going to be issued as airdrops to oracles and hotspots on the existing IoT network. This airdrop is intended to bootstrap the network and give the network a head start. That's a nice little bonus to look forward to, and I am always open for companies and people giving me free tokens. As you can see on this map, there are very few 5G miners deployed in the state of Florida or really anywhere. Recently, Amir Halim went on Twitter to say that there are roughly 2010 5G hotspots on the Helium network right now, and many people are comparing the early stages of 5G mining to the early stages of Helium mining where the people were making a ridiculous amount of money if they were the first people with a hotspot in their area. That is something to think about. However, in the next slide, I will show you why I personally am not going to get into 5G mining, at least for now. 5G Helium mining proposes more of a challenge than regular IoT hotspot mining. 5G hotspots are even more location dependent and you really need to have an optimized setup to even earn a decent amount of tokens. Ideally, you want to be in a heavily trafficked public area that has little to no 5G coverage. If you put it in a place that already has 5G coverage, little to no data will be able to offload onto your hotspot and your antenna and you will earn not that many mobile tokens. In addition to that, the 5G radio signals do not go through objects very well, so you definitely need to have a great line of sight in a heavily trafficked area, also with little to no 5G coverage. Also, <laughs> did I mention that the radios and hotspots are going to be roughly $2,500 to start? I'm just unfortunately not in a situation where I have a location that could utilize a 5G hotspot. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it per se, but you should definitely do your research on this one and see if you have a good location and a good area to place it in before you spend the $2,500. So guys, that was my quick recap. Hope that gives you some insight on what is happening with the network currently. Uh, make sure to join the giveaway everyone just by liking and commenting and subscribing. I really really do appreciate it I'll pick the winner next video. I really appreciate all the support everyone. Thanks for sticking with me And as always, I'll see you guys on the next helium hub video. Take care